So we're going to find one unsuspecting victim here at the land. There's around 200 people behind me right now playing games. And we are going to walk in with a baseball bat, wreck their monitor, and give them a brand new one. So we are going to be scouting for potential victims right now, finding someone who is unsatisfied with their monitor and really thinks they could use an upgrade. So we're here at Vancouver with a spectator who has no idea that we're about to talk to him. Hello, good sir. Hello. Want to tell us a little bit about your rig here? Uh, what? You got a pretty it's the best cinch NA is Challenger. All right, you've you've got a pretty nice graphics card in there, but your monitor is pretty small. What's the deal with that? Uh, just it's good for the price. Good for the price. Okay. So, but this guy's top one percent of law. His monitor, <laughs> top 0.1% of the law community. Top 1% of top League of Legends. 0.1%. 0.1%. Okay. Do you think it would enhance your gaming experience if you had a different monitor? Probably. Probably. What do you like best about this one? What would you do with this one if you had something new? Uh, I'd keep it around, like just as a double monitor. That would probably be really good too. Cool. Because I can stream that way. Okay. Want to tell us about your rig? The, I have a GTX 580, uh, i5 processor, and um, like 16 gigs of RAM. How about your peripherals? This seems like a very strange choice. You've got a high-end gaming keyboard, mechanical keyboard, but you've got what looks more like a commodity-grade wireless mouse right. and a Future Shop Discount Supercenter <laughs> uh, mouse pad. What's the deal yeah, with that? Well, I guess um, for League of Legends, because it's a MOBA game, Mouse doesn't really make much of a difference. It's, it's all, all like right click, left click, but for the keyboard it makes a really big difference because like m most of the game operates here, not here. Fascinating. Okay, thank you very much. He's got gunners. All right. So we're here with Firezerg, who has a bit of a unique machine. Uh, for one thing, you're missing a lot of keycaps on your keyboard. Tell me about that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm. I in StarCraft Two, you're able to set up your own hotkeys. Um, which means you can totally customize which keys do what in the game. Uh, these keys are probably the thing that stand out uh, first to anyone. I went to uh, an event at PAX down in Seattle. Uh, Day9, who's a really famous StarCraft sort of uh, personality, um, was there and he put on uh, uh, an event. Can't really call it a tournament. Um, it was just sort of a fun event. I played in it. I won some swag. I got this, this swag bag down here. It's like a Red Bull. Uh, gamer bag, uh, and also these keycaps are inside, uh, along with some other things. So I just uh, popped out one through six uh, and put in Day9 TV here. Um, the the missing keys, though, uh, these are just things that I don't use. Tilde, I don't use. Seven has been rebound to caps. Uh, the Windows keys, and I don't even I don't even know. I think there's like a page key or something there. Don't use them. Uh, F10 is used to access the menu, but none of these other keys are used. Uh, and if you look at like a controller, if someone's playing a fighting game, like they got a fight stick or a controller, they don't have extraneous um, uh, buttons or anything that they can hit by accident. Uh, so using a keyboard to play, I just figured, why should I have extra keys that I can maybe hit by accident? Okay. No, nope. no, that's fantastic. I want to talk about your monitor. This is one of the crappiest monitors that I've ever seen. What's the deal with this? Like, did your grandmother give it to you? Oh man, you put me on the spot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about uh, monitors. Uh, it's, it, it works fine for StarCraft. Works fine for StarCraft. So like, so what? So okay. So uh, you got like your calculus, like textbooks. It doesn't even sit at the right height for you, dude. Why do you use this thing? Uh, that that's actually the biggest problem with it. I, I don't notice anything as far as like the quality of the monitor, but um, it's not adjustable, and that's the big problem. If I brought these just because, if this was sitting on the desk, it would be too low. Um, and that, that's also obviously relative to chair height and desk height, and we get into that. But you do need a screen that can like tilt upwards. And I noticed second and third place both have uh, monitors as prizes, so that would not be too bad to pick up one of those. I'm assuming they, they tilt, they're tilty. Well, good luck with that. Thank you very much for letting us chat with you about your rig. I particularly appreciated the bit about the keyboard. Awesome, thanks so much, and thanks for putting on the tournament, guys. We got another participant here. Guys, want to tell us your name? Uh, my name's Colin Hamilton. All right, Colin. So Colin's going to tell us about his setup. So you look like a bit of a Steel Series fanboy. Is that kind of a safe assumption? Uh, it is a safe assumption. I love Steel Series. Um, 
I'm not just saying that. I used to be sponsored by Steel Series, but I've always used their gear even before I was sponsored. So um, this is still the gear they gave me, and I still highly recommend all of it. I'm Excellent. Sorry, I just lack the headset at the moment. Now tell me something. Um, I mean, this is not a particularly fancy monitor. What's the what's the deal with that? Because you've got between. I know how much this keyboard costs. This is a 6G V2, correct? That's right. Okay, so your 6G V2 is probably about a 99.99 keyboard. You've got about a hundred dollar. That's a Sensei, right? That is. Sensei, okay, that's yeah. a Sensei. And then this right here is probably about a twenty-five dollar mouse pad. And you didn't invest that much in the thing you actually look at all the time. What's the deal? Uh, do you really love it? I do like the monitor. It was actually a gift from my father for um, doing well at a UBC Cup. I got second place, and it was a reward for that. There he's, you go, then. So sentimental heavy, value. It's all about that. It is. He's, he's a heavy supporter for StarCraft for me. All right, so, cool. Well, I do like the monitor. It's nice and sharp. It has HD. It's good enough for me. Perfect. In StarCraft, there is no particular advantage to having like dual monitors or anything like that. Is that correct? Uh, I believe so, yeah, that'd be correct. I believe that uh, widescreen does have a bit of an advantage. You see more of the playing field, but uh, other than that, yeah, a single monitor will do just fine for StarCraft. That's fantastic. Thank you very much for talking to us about your stuff. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, so we got another gamer here who's not going to say any cuss words and make us do editing, even though uh, we had a bit of an issue with that prior, prior to this. <laughs> uh, Want to tell us about your rig here? So you've got some pretty funky stuff going on with your keyboard here. Yeah. Well. As far as I know, this is a mechanical keyboard, and it's like a Korean, yes, as is. you can see, yep. Um, but the thing is, my brother gave it to me, so I'm not exactly sure, like, what the brand, I guess you could say it might be Qsen, and... Uh, you could say that. Yep. Uh, and you want to hear about my mouse? Sure. Okay. Well, this is a Razer Def Adder. It's pretty old, but it does its job, so... Uh, it's got like a button to uh, change mouse speed, so that's pretty nifty. Speaking of pretty old but does its job, this is interesting. What's the yeah. uh, deal with this? No height adjust, uh, terrible viewing angle. I don't know. It's my brother's computer monitor as well. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't, because I haven't, I've never played on like a computer like the one over there. So I'm not, I'm used to this, so it doesn't really affect me. Got it. Cool. Thank you very much. So here we go. We got another gamer, guys. So tell me a little bit about your gaming setup, particularly with emphasis on why you use this particular keyboard, mouse, and monitor. Um, so I got a Philco, a Philco Brown Switch keyboard. Great choice. And I use it because uh, Brown Switches are like they're not too soft, not too hard. And I, know, I like the it's 10 key less, so it's kind of small. So like my hands are closer together when I play. It's More ergonomic that way, am I right? And this mouse is a Zowie Miko, and I use it because like I don't know like it. Um, Zowie's like partnered with Startail and KT, like top StarCraft teams. So like their mouse is like redesigned for RTS, so it's really good. Awesome. And this monitor, on the other hand, doesn't really seem to be anything. Whoa, is this thing broken? I think I'm not sure. Hopefully not. I don't think it's broken. So what's what's the deal with uh, with the monitor? Oh, it's just the cheapest monitor I got. I could find. Okay, so basically it's nothing special then, and you have no particular attachment. Oh my, are you running off VGA? Yeah. Why are you doing this, sir? Um, because I'll have well, it's connected to my laptop, so I don't know. All right. Well, cool. Thank you very much for telling us about your setup, and good luck. I think. We
It has, I believe, a two millisecond response time. It has an FPS mode. It has all kinds of different scaling. You want to run at different resolutions. It can handle all of that with no input lag. And let me tell you, it is a darn sight better than the one that we just took care of for you there. So enjoy that. No more VGA. No more VGA for you. That's it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope you had fun at the event here. And I hope I didn't spook you too much there. All right, so we're uh, we're gonna retrieve the monitor and see if uh, maybe she survives. I got uh, I got one piece here. This is the uh, the bezel here that is uh, very very well built. You want to see if there's any pieces that you can uh, retrieve there? Okay, so oh oh yeah oh that's your part. Oh okay. Oh. All right, so uh, we we did a bit of a number on that one. Uh, what do you think? Is this probably an improvement over your over your previous monitor? Yeah, I'm thinking so. That, uh, so as you can see, this monitor was not built uh, with the ruggedness that would have allowed it to survive a baseball bat to the panel. Hold on, I think we got another piece here. There you go. There's another piece you can show off. There's that shaky stand that you were having trouble with before. All right. She does the new one as well. Okay, here's uh, there we got more, more pieces. So that appears to be the actual panel itself. All right, so uh, yeah, that, that, that went pretty well overall, I think. All right, thanks again, man.